Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Brittany Lee. I'm Andrew Mercer. I'm Ian Fuego here, and we are doing a trailer reaction for a film called Cut, Shoot, Kill, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not sure if it's going to be slightly meta or not. I know it's about an actress who is actually shooting a horror film. Hmm. And so that's really the extent of the basis that I'm aware of. And uh, it was just announced in the last few days. And who, who knows when the hell you're going to end up seeing it. It may not be <laughs> within those few days, but... Yeah, it's one that I'm quite curious about for that sure factor, and we are going to roll through it right now just for you guys and see if it's a TTT or if it is actually worthy of your time. Let's do it. All right. In three, two, one, cut you kill. Oh, boy. Love it. I can love this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Alabama chapter. I can't say his real name. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right, okay. Okay, it's just not my kind of thing. This will be great for you. These guys have a million Twitter followers. Are you Alabama? Too late. People are tired of being lied to. They want the one thing they are not being given. The truth. Wait, Brooke? I figured that was you because you look like a movie star. <laughs> Maybe we can read some lines from our scenes that we have to shoot tomorrow. Lines mean nothing. We're on the woods here. Rules are different. One bad shot. Is that Nicole from your film? No, that's not Nicole. I secretly admire her. That was the last movie we worked on. She died before we could finish it. I picked you because I think that you are a survivor. You're confusing me with my character. I'm sorry, can we cut? I'm noticing a severe lack of respect for the face of this actor. Low budget, obviously. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So low budget. Yeah. Uh, intriguing right. stuff going on, though. Yeah. I, I, I kind of like the vibe. Stuff going yeah. on. I am not that. I excited. can tell you're not on board. <laughs> no, not for me. Nope, it's just too. It's just. It's. Uh... Low budge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, can, you can't even put your finger on it that much. <laughs> just it just, yeah, it looks so low budget and. You gotta try. I mean, it doesn't look like there was any color correction. If, if I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just it it doesn't look super interesting. The actors don't look engaging. The story doesn't look super revelatory. I, I mean, I, I just I I just it's, I don't care. I don't care. I kind of disagree here, actually. All right, well, yeah, go ahead. yeah. Say I why? Mean, yeah, well, but I I didn't think performances looked that terrible, and I mean, you've got some cliche kind of tropes in play obviously you know about the are they making a, a movie or are they taking it too far or whatever but yeah I, I i at least see some heart in the process maybe but no it it, it, it doesn't look great but <laughs> um yeah yeah it, it, it does look interesting some... uh yeah low budget, <laughs> low is budget, low budget. <laughs> you, see, you see it you see it coming a mile away but um you know it, it doesn't look uh, overdone. I don't think the acting is too over the top. They got a little, a couple weird characters that might stand out. Um, practical effects seem okay. Uh, not a lot of CGI, so I can give them credit for that. Especially low budget, just trying to make make ends meet. Um, story seems a little out there. I hope they got their timelines right as far as what's in the movie and what's being shot about the movie. Um, you don't want to confuse people with that kind of stuff. So. Um, a lot of lot of potential, but a lot of times it it, it ends up not 
not doing anything. So. I honestly like the set design. I think that's but that's it's maybe these, one of the... it's these cheesy uh, marks right here with the the editing. Okay, now is that them filming the movie or is this mm -hmm. outside looking at killer's perspective, trying to be meta but the execution kind of. Yeah. It's it's that's the thing. I've seen Meta done so much better. I mean, uh, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon was one of the best sort of meta movies with this sort of aesthetic um, that I've ever seen. And this just looks like it's going to pale in comparison. So I don't know. That's just me. I find the trailer interesting. I mean, it's interesting enough to keep me watching it. I've watched it what four times now, and I'm still watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I like the lead too. I mean, <laughs> she, yeah, she's. He seems like a stereotypey type thing. The the director who's like, "You're late," and I'm no. drinking. She looks exactly and... like Phoebe Cates. Like, she, it's, oh, I think like, she looks like Selma Blair. <laughs> yeah, Selma Blair actually is even closer. Absolutely, <laughs> there like, are many for, women who have that hairstyle. Time, like anything. halfway through, I'm like, "Is that Selma Blair? Is it not? Is it?" it was anyway. Blair. Doesn't matter. I'm not interested, but apparently I'm in the minority this is here. Have mixed reactions. <laughs> so I, let I us know. know. Like I said, the trailer's interesting, but I don't know if I'm gonna go watch it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. I'd love to know what the viewers thought of this. So, are you interested, or were you kind of unimpressed like I was? Uh, let us know down there. And while you're down there, click the link in the description box for our T Public site, where you can get access to awesome apparel and trinkets with a bunch of different horror mashup designs from some really cool artists or our very own horror show logo and coexist logo designs if you do so you'll be supporting the show help so us. thank you very much help us uh, but <laughs> until the next reaction i've been cecil laird i'm Brady lee i'm andrew mercer gracias i've been having your fuego and remember stay, stay scared, scared.